Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are discussing interview question and answers for Microsoft Information Protection Administrator Role SC400. If you find this content helpful, please like, comment and subscribe. To find the complete list of question and answers, you can download the complete list of valid tried and tested question and answers from the link provided in the description do share please our question is how do you handle data protection requirements for data stored in removable media devices such as usb drivers or external hard drives the answer should be I address data protection requirements by implementing device control policies using Microsoft Endpoints Manager or third-party endpoints protection solution to restrict access to removable media devices encrypting data stored on removable media using BitLocker encryption and enforcing data loss prevention DLP policies to prevent unauthorized data tra transfer. Our next question is, can you discuss your experience with conducting data classification assessments and developing classification schemes for organizing and protecting sensitive information? The answer should be, I experience conducting data classification assessment using tools such as Microsoft Information Protection Scanner or Azure Purview to identify sensitive data, developing classification scheme based on data types, regulatory requirements and business impact and applying sensitivity labels to categorize and protect sensitive information. Our next question is, how do you handle data protection requirements for data shared via Microsoft SharePoint online sites and document libraries specially concerning collaboration with external users? The answer should be, I address data protection requirements by configuring SharePoint's online external sharing settings and control guest access permissions, enabling sensitivity labels and encryption for shared documents and implementing access controls such as conditional access policies and Azure AD authentication for external collaboration scenarios. Our next question is, what measures do you take to ensure data protection controls are maintained during the software development life cycle SDLC for custom applications and solutions integrating with Microsoft 365? The answer should be, I ensure data protection controls are maintained during the SDLC by incorporating security requirements into application design and development processes, conducting security reviews and code analysis to identify vulnerabilities and implementing secure coding practices and security testing methodologies methodologies to mitigate risks our next question is how do you handle data protection requirements for data stored in microsoft 365 backup and recovery solutions especially concerning data retention and encryption the answer should be i address data protection requirements for backup and recovery solutions by configuring data retention policies for backup data enabling encryption at rest and transit for backup storage and implementing access controls and auditing mechanism to protect backup copies of sensitive information our next question is can you discuss your experience with configuring data loss prevention, DLP policies and Microsoft Teams to prevent the unauthorized sharing of sensitive information in chat messages and files? 
the answer should be i have experience configuring dlp policies for microsoft teams to inspect chat messages and file attachments for sensitive information define policy rules to block or restrict sharing based on content classification and enforce encryption and access controls for shared content to prevent data leakage our next question is what strategies do you employ to ensure the data protection measures are effectively communicated and understood by users within an organization the answer should be i employ strategies such as user training and awareness programs providing clear guidance and documentation on data protection policies and procedures conducting regular communications and updates on security based practices and soliciting feedback from users to address concerns and improve adoption If you are preparing for any Microsoft based certification you can download the complete list of valid tried and tested question and answers from the link provided in the description wishing you all the very best thank you